a long to introduce and to talk a lot. Today, um, it's the seven after a, a Good Friday. The reason why we didn't have our meeting yesterday, we knew that um, it uh, after a long weekend and the business of today need uh, time, need uh, people who are relaxed. So yesterday it was the time for us to relax so that when you come to our meeting today, we'll be able to participate in our meeting because we are dealing with a serious matter uh, that need the uh, focus. So you are welcome to our meeting. I will hand over to the provinces to introduce themselves. After the provinces, uh, honorable members, your select committee members, uh, I'm not going to say you must introduce yourself. I will hand over to head of uh, whoever who, le who lead the department to introduce her team or his team. And then from there, we'll take it. Uh, our meeting will be continue. Uh, uh, I'll start from other provinces, that, the provinces that are in the meeting, not permanent delegate. Legis provincial legislatures? Honorable Chair? Yes. I like, I like to, to strike while the iron is still hot, yes. Uh, yeah. Greetings to everybody, yes. Uh, uh, my name is Fundisila Pesa, chairperson of the Portfolio Committee uh, for the Department of Rural Development and Agrarian Reform in Eastern Cape. Thank you very much. I'm greeting everybody. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you, Eastern Cape. Uh, Chairperson, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Fasia Hassan. I am currently the acting chairperson of the Gauteng Provincial Legislature, specifically the Committee on Economic Development, Agriculture and Rural uh, Development as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Any province? Free State, Limpopo, any province that are in the meeting? Provincial legislatures? If none, uh, maybe they will still join us uh, through the course of the, the meeting. Can I give to the person who lead the department to introduce themselves? Uh, good day, uh, Madam Chair and all members. My name is uh, Ramasala from the department. Uh, I'm not sure who is with me in the meeting. I'll ask them to to introduce themselves if, if they are our colleagues in attendance. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Ramasal and the chair. My name is Terry Ndobe. I'm from the department. Thank you. Thank you. It means you're only two. Uh, Nati? Legal advisors, can you introduce yourself? Yes, good morning, Chairperson and members and colleagues. Uh, my name is Natim Jangman, the Parliamentary Legal Advisor. Thank you. Sure. Ms. Brown. Are you the only one from the legal uh, team from the Parliament? Um, uh, Good morning, Good Chair. Morning. Yes. Good morning, Chair. Adila Arnold, Office of the Chief State Law Advisor. Thank you very much, ma'am. Okay. Members, um, anyone who might left him or her out without introducing herself or himself? Um, I, I introduced the department. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Sorry, I got a call now uh, while we were on. So I, I missed the section. I don't know if you we that introduction of the MPs. Oh yes, uh, Honorable Smith. I was saying 
I just want to know our guest. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So my apologies, yeah. my apologies, ma'am. Thank you. No, it's fine. Uh, honorable, mem uh, honorable members and colleagues, like I said, you are welcome to a meeting, feel free. And you must say, if you want to participate in the provinces, you are welcome. And the department, if you want to advise us in something before I give you an opportunity, uh, but if you see that the, you, we need direction, you are welcome. Uh, legal from uh, Mr. Nati, uh, you are also welcome to advise us. Today, um, okay, Aska, let me, let's get out our agenda, today's agenda. Chairperson, today's agenda is the negotiating mandates of the provincial legislatures. And thereafter, it is the um, consideration and adoption of the minutes of the last meeting. That would be it, sir. Chair. Thank you very much, uh, Aska. Any apologies in your, your agenda? Yes, Chair. You have I have three apologies, uh, Mr. Nana, Ms. Mukause, and Ms. Lapiskakhni. Okay, try. Uh, it's uh, Western Cape, uh, Eastern Cape, uh, Northern Cape. Northern Cape. Correct. Okay, but we do have um, uh, Honorable Anwar from Western Cape and Honorable the Chairperson from Eastern Cape. <clears throat> the Chairperson from and Eastern Cape and Mandongen. Correct. And uh, the mandate of the Northern Cape, uh, as Chairperson of the Committee, you are entitled to read the mandate on behalf of the province. No problem. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, honorable members, we received uh, three apologies from Honorable Nana, from Honorable Laboskakni, Honorable Mkause. As you know that uh, Honorable Mkause, she has been ill for some quite time, long time. Uh, she's still not well. I spoke to her. Last time, last week, yeah, she, but she's getting there. And then I want uh, to check any apologies from your side, honorable members, before I give the department. None, okay. No, no, we don't, we don't have apologies, uh, Chairperson, just to to, to formally recognize the uh, and uh, note the apologies of members uh, so that they are accepted uh, formally. Yeah. Thank I, you very I much, move, I, move for, I move for the acceptance of those apologies. Honorable Peter Seconds. Thank you very much, honorable uh, members. Now, I, uh, department, do you have any apologies from your side? Uh, advocate. Yeah, yes, Madam Chair. I'm aware that uh, the DG would have been happy to join us, but uh, due to some some commitments in the department, she has asked us, uh, myself and uh, and uh, Mr. Ndobo is the DDG, to to attend this meeting. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much, uh, Advocate. Uh, all the apologies uh, have been accepted. Now we are moving to item number two, which is the negotiation mandate from the provinces. Honorable members, as you know, like last time, uh, the department briefed us on the ultra bill, and then it was a 76 bill, section 76 bill, whereby we do the public hearing as a, a provincial, I mean, NCOP, and then we send to the provinces and the provinces has done their um, public hearing. And now today the provinces have sent us their mandates. Up to so far, we have received the mandates from the provinces. It's only two. Is it two, uh, two provinces that di they didn't uh, send the mandate, which is Limpopo? And Limpopo is going to send the man final mandate, and the Northwest, they're going to send the man uh, final mandate because to, uh, 
they requested Limpopo requested the extension from the chairperson of the NCOP, and then he give them uh, at that extension. And then Northwest, we brief them late, and then they are going to have a public hearing tomorrow. So that's why they're gonna send us the final mandate. But other provinces, they did send the, their mandate. So we are going to start, uh, Aska, help us the, about the procedure. How are you going to do? Okay, Chairperson. Um, uh, the provincial delegate will read the mandate of the province. Mm -hmm. the, if a province supports with amendments, then that person who's reading the mandate will read each amendment. So let's say Eastern Cape supports with amendments and they have two amendments. The procedure will be as follows, Chair. We will read amendment number one. We will then discuss that amendment with the department, the legal advisors. Thereafter, once the discussions have been exhausted, we will take a vote on whether to accept or not accept that proposed amendment of the province. Now, there are three options. Members can support, not support, or abstain from voting. It takes five provinces to agree on a amendment in order for that amendment to be accepted. Once a amendment is accepted, you're effectively amending the bill. So once um, the permanent delegate reads the first amendment, once all discussions are finished, I will then call for a vote. All I will do is call out the province, the name of the province, and the permanent delegate or special delegate, because it's a provincial vo voice, will say, will either say support, not support, or abstain. I will record the vote as such, and we will do that for each of the mandates that have amendments. That way, it is, it's, a, it's, it's, it's clear that there's a process, the 